welcome to Homestead Heart. And today I decided to bring you out into the big garden. I just want to show you all the damage that slugs and these hornworms can cause in the garden, especially when you work so hard in the garden to get your well actually before you even get to the garden you spend a lot of time you invest a lot of time in starting your seedlings and nursing them make sure they are healthy and strong so that they are uh, ready to transplant out into the garden right well these little creatures they will come along and decimate a garden and take away all of your hard work overnight. Let me show you what they've done to my cabbage plants. All right, you all. All right, you all, let's look. Let's look, well, be, look, look at this. Let's look at the cabbage plants here. Cabbages, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Look at my plants, look at what, just look at this damage here. Just look. Isn't that something? It was growing so nicely. How about this one? Look at that. Yesterday was beautiful. Today, there's nothing left. Look at that, y'all. Just decimated it. So we came out here yesterday, actually, and we pulled off tons of those green cabbage worms just tons of them and they look so much like the squash plant I mean like the the plant itself that if you don't look carefully you could miss it but just look at this look at what they've done look at that and they've started in on this one and we were pulling them all off of here I don't see one now. I'm checking them again. This is my second time coming out here today. Checking them. Y'all, look at this. Isn't this something? I mean, they just would... Look at there. The whole leaf is missing. Look at how they just come out here and just... They just decimate your plants, right? This one is just gone. Look at that. Yeah. This is horrible. I don't have one here at all. I just don't know if these are going to even have a fighting chance. So yeah, isn't that awful? That is just awful what they can do to your plants in no time flat. Just tear them apart. Just look at that. Yeah, that's horrible. So in a case like this, what do you all do? What do you all do? I know we have come out here and picked them off by hand to get rid of them and to try to save our cabbage plants. Like I said, this was my second time out today, checking our brassicas to see if any more damage has occurred or if there's any others that have found their way to our cabbage plants. Even in my raised beds, I still have the same problem in the raised bed. So this is one of those things that you have to deal with when you are organically farming and you don't want to use chemicals and pesticides. You have to be very, very careful and strategic with how you eliminate pests in the garden without harming your plants and harming yourself in the process, right? So I have an idea about what I'm going to do, but before I do the video on that, you all tell me what you all do to remedy that problem with the with the cabbage worms and 
even snails, right? Because we have snails. <laughs> they wreak havoc on your garden. I'm sorry about the camera. They wreak havoc on your garden, right? So let me know what you all would suggest and what you all would advise that I do to resolve that organically so that um, hopefully we can remedy that problem and maybe save a few of our cabbages and our brassicas, save what's left because they have really taken out a lot of our plants. So you all let me know in the comment section below on how you would solve this problem, okay? So thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers, new and existing. We certainly appreciate all of the support. Peace and blessings to you all. Oh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Peace and blessings to you all, and we'll see you in the next video.